Welcome back to Codemaster Coach, your medical coding tutor. Felt the need to get back on because I had two new subscribers. Thank you. For a small channel such as mine, one subscriber makes a difference and it lets me know that I'm doing something that somebody wants to hear. So as promised in my last video, I said I was going to talk about medical coding certification. Medical coding certification is it's proof of your proficiency. It's a, an exam that you take and when you pass it you earn your credentials that proves that you're proficient to that level. Now there are multiple certifications that are offered through different organizations but the two key organizations that I always talk about are AHIMA and AAPC. And I discussed what a medical association, medical coding associations the two were in a previous video. So at your earliest convenience, go back and look for my video on medical coding national organizations. Those are the two organizations that offer the current, I guess, game changer certifications. The good thing about these certifications is they're national, which means they're good in any state and any country. Like with lawyers, and insurance companies, when they take their certification exams, usually they're only good for a particular state. Well, with medical coding certifications that are offered through AHIMA and AAPC, these are national exams, which means they're good in any state. So if you leave whatever state that you live in, go to another state, and you have one of these certifications, it holds water in that new state or country that you move to. So. Let's look at certifications and, and which certification is best for you. And the reason I'm asking you that is because you have to determine which certification you'll sit for. And sit for, you actually sit and take an exam, whether it's on the computer or on paper and pencil. You take your coding books with you. You take your own certification exam. So you have to actually sit for it. So when I say which one is for you, how much time do you have? To prepare. How much time or, or the other big question I can ask you is what organization do you wish to code in, whether it's outpatient or inpatient. And in a previous video I talked about medical coding and exactly what is and I talked about the different healthcare settings that you can code in. When you determine which setting you want to code for, a lot of times that will determine which certification you should be using. So let's get started. The first one is a four-year degree. This is the highest credential right now as far as that you see with coders. And it's the RHIA, Registered Health Information Administrator. RHIA requires a four-year bachelor's degree and it's in Health Information Administration. Usually RHIAs are, are managers or supervisors and it's because of that degree. But I've got an RHIA and I've chosen now after 25 years of being in management to just do coding and, and I'm comfortable with that. And to be honest with you, I can make a pretty good salary doing just coding. If I known what I know today and from what you're going to learn today with certifications, I question if I would have done a four-year degree to do what I'm doing today. But it was, my, it was planned for me. And I used my RHIA and still do today for what it was used for. The two-year associate degree is the RHIT, Registered Health Information Technician. Two year associate degree. And both of these, the RHIA and the RHIT, require college education at an accredited college. Now, the reason I'm stressing that is because today, medical coding does not require a college degree to do or to become certified. You just have to prove your proficiency by passing the exam, whether you learned from a friend 
whether you went to college, whether you learned at the hospital or at a physician's office or in the healthcare setting, as long as you go and take that national exam and pass it, you too can become certified in coding. That's why I can create this channel, Code Master Coach, because the same classes that I taught in the college and I taught on the academic side and the continuing education side of the college. I even at one time wrote a paper on which is the best side to take for coding. Academics, where they on the academic side of the college where they require English and math and psychology and etc. for a degree or go through continuing education take just your coding classes and sit for your national exam. And ultimately I have to say it's up to the individual because some of us want that structured program that's offered on the academic side while others of us don't have time due to family, due to um, finance, whatever reason, we don't have the time to take all those additional courses outside of medical coding that helps better prepare us for real world. Because remember, with the college side, they're preparing you not just for your profession, but for the psychology of it, um, for the humanities of it, with your Englishes and with your math and with your psychology type courses. They're preparing you for more than just your profession. Whereas on the continuing education side of the college, a lot of times they prepare you just for that particular career. So again, it depends on the individual. The highest certification in coding today is the CCS. Okay, CCS. This one's offered through AHIMA, the AHIMA organization that I told you about, Certified Coding Specialist. At one time, they required three years experience before sitting for this exam because it doesn't take just your knowledge of the coding today but it takes, based on that coding, some experience. And the test questions just go that deep to make you think a little further than just book knowledge. And so a lot of times, education um, or, or experience is your key to passing the CCS. That's AHIMA. And the entry level coding certification through AHIMA is the CCA, Certified Coding Associate. This is usually somebody right out of a program, right out of training, that sits for an entry level position to code. Now again, both of these are through a HEMA, three years experience, right out of the program. And these two are usually for an inpatient setting. These are usually your um, hospital coders more in-depth, the deeper coders. Entry level, again, right out of the AHIMA program, which is usually a college program, is at CCA. But guess what? AAPC, the other national association, has their entry level coding position, which is a CPC, Certified Professional Coder. CPC, to me, <laughs> this CCA, through a college takes one year to complete, eight months to a year. I've seen a CPC program last 14, 15 weeks, but this is a hard exam. So that's why with Codemaster Coach, as I'm doing it, I'm gonna do it slower, slow it down to make sure you're grasping this information because like I said, this might be an entry level position, I mean, I'm um, certification, but it's a hard certification to me. It really nitpicked and asked deep, thorough questions. It took you through medical um, terminology. It asked you questions about anesthesia and surgeries and every section in your CPT book. And you actually coded scenarios. So each of these certifications are on their website. Again, AHIMA, www dot a h i m a dot org 
or AAPC, American Academy of Professional Coders, is www.aapc.com. Two national associations that offer medical coding certifications. And all of these certifications you will see in coding. It's up to you to determine how much time, four year degree, two year degree, usually a uh, three years experience after coming out or after starting to code, entry level, right out of a one year coding certificate program, and probably the, the this one's growing a whole lot quicker to me than this one. This one's about um, through AAPC and it's a little quicker but it's a hard test. So the good thing with Codemaster Coach is we will be preparing you for each one of these coding certifications. So again, CPC through AHIMA, CCA through AHIMA, no, CPC through AAPC, I'm sorry. CCA through AHIMA and CCS I can cover with you through Codemaster Coach. So again this is certification when it comes to medical coding which proves your proficiency. When you go to apply for a job for a coder they're going to ask you what certifications do you have. Through this training I will prepare you for these three coding now I can't prepare you for the degree because I'm not a college. Okay, I'm a trade school. Codemaster Coach teaches medical coding. So I can prepare you with these certifications. I've had students come right out of my program. And even though this calls for three years experience, 